Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, this is Veronica and I'm Ryan. And welcome to the brand new Royal Caribbean Terminal in Galveston, Texas. Yeah, we're here to board the Voyager of the Seas, which is a new ship to us. It's uh, been renovated uh, somewhat recently, but it's actually the sister ship to the ship that we were on last year, the Navigator of the Navigator. Seas. You know, we had a lot of fun on that ship. That was a three-day yeah. cruise. We're here for a five-day cruise down to Costa Maya and Cozumel. So we're excited. Let's go ahead yeah. and uh, get aboard. Come, Come along, along with, with us. us. There she be. I'm so excited. This is a fancy excited. terminal. I know, it's really nice. I like it. Good morning. I think the first stop for us, we actually got some business to attend to. Yeah. We gotta make sure we got a, a good dining reservation. We're gonna go ahead and take care of that. We're gonna head up to the top. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> we did it. So we are <laughs> topside now. We made our way up to the uh, the pool deck. Yeah. I think we're going to start here. We're going to show you guys around the ship a little bit. We're going to show you some of the restaurants, the different bars, the different features. We'll make our way down to the promenade. We'll show you the dining room and yeah. all that fun stuff. So uh, I think first things first, though, we're ready for a drink. We got the yeah. unlimited uh, beverage package because, so, you know, start taking advantage of that. you don't want to be thinking about that kind of stuff when you're cruising. So, <laughs> But we haven't walked around the ship yet, so yeah. it's going to be our first time walking around this. With it's going to be interesting because it's, it's like, <laughs> Identical build to the Navigator yeah, of the Seas, but very, very little subtle differences. And then Veronica's got a spa day yeah, that I got for her for her birthday. Yeah. So she's got Facial that. And massage. We just moved that up. You'll be able to go to the Sailway so party. So yeah, originally it was booked for 345. Sailway is at four. Yeah. So I didn't want to miss that. So I moved it up to 130. So yeah, we got you know we got that all squared yeah. away. Then uh, we're hungry too. So we're going to make our way over to Windjammer, show you yeah. the buffet as well. So let's go ahead and right, get this go. started. Cheers. Cheers. First drink of the day. What you got? The uh, Parasol Cosmo. That's right. Yeah, and I got some uh, yeah. Buffalo Trace and Coke. All right, deck 12. So this is the pool deck. The sail away party yeah. is going to be up here. So they're going to have yeah. some music. Everybody's going to be dancing and have a good time. That's always fun. It's good people watching. This is the main family pool. And then this is where they're going to have the music too. And then they're going to have uh, the, the sail away party and all that. So they got some you know, spas and whatnot around here. Got a big movie screen up there. That's going to be one of the other lounges, I think. And then we'll go up there in a little bit. This is uh, also the same deck where the spa is at, which we'll show you in a little bit later. Yeah. Let's head back this way. I believe that's a solarium. And this is the adult oh, that's only. The adult yeah, I think it's part. is it 18 and up, I believe. I think it is 18. That's and then they've got a bar back there. When you're an adult. Yeah, right. <laughs> so they got a bar oh, back there. Yeah, their own bar. Yeah. So this is the front of the ship. Yeah, I like what Navigator of the Seas actually did with this area better. This uh, seems like some wasted space here, honestly. Random seating area there. Just a bunch of lounge chairs out here. I don't know that uh, we'll be spending much time here. All right, here's the other angle. So there's the, uh, the Sky Lounge where we got our first drink. And then there's another bar down below. I didn't see that before. There's the front of the ship I just showed. On the Navigator, that's where they have the, the mini golf course. And I think that was a much better use of that space, but it is what it is. Now that we've done the top side here, well, there's still a couple more things we'll show later on, but we're gonna go ahead and head down and do our mustard drill, then we'll make our way back up. So I think we'll stop by the promenade and the main dining room and a couple other things. So let's go get to it. This is, uh, this is what I love about Royal Caribbean chips, and I think you don't really get that on too many other kind of cruise lines. They do a really good job with the layout of their space and then making it feel open. It is pretty similar to Navigator. Oh, like yeah. you have the rooms, just like Navigator, like looking down onto the promenade. Yeah, it's all part of the um, the Voyager class um, oh, of ships. Okay. And these were all uh, sometime in the early 2000s, I believe. Oh, okay. So this is where all like the, the fun stuff's gonna be. And oh, we're, yeah. this is the 4th of July cruise. So I think they're gonna have a 4th of July party. Hopefully we don't really know. There, there's definitely a 70s party that night. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So that'll be our night, like our day in Cozumel, um, is the 4th of July. Yeah. So we'll so see what they have. We're on deck five now. Our room is on deck six, so we're actually close. Oh yeah, no just one above. I think it's gonna be perfectly located right next to the elevators and stairs, yeah. but just far enough so it's not too noisy. And then it's right here by the promenade. You've got a bar here. You've got a couple of different restaurants um, down the ways and whatnot, so over here. We got next cruise. If you want to book your next cruise, you can go ahead and do that there. And then, uh, you know, of course, the Texas flag, you know, the, the port we're leaving out of. And again, with the way Royal Caribbean has done their, their ships and whatnot, it's, everything's so open, which you don't really get that on too many other cruise lines. Yeah. So beautiful ship so far. Let's go ahead and keep touring it. Yeah. Um, we're going to make a walk down the promenade now. All right, let's right. check it out. Let's check it out. With the statue of the so, short 
gonna get some duty free stuff. Let's see, what storage we got? We got Swarovski there. Looks like that's the so, um, the merch shop, like for like the for onboard merch, like Royal Caribbean stuff. Oh, we'll have to check that out later. Maybe. The, the Maybe. casino down that way, which no filming in there. Pig and Whistle there. They actually they, they're gonna have a lot of entertainment there. That's gonna be a good bar for us too. Oh. Cafe Brahma. This is a hot spot. Really a hot spot late at night, especially especially when you got is those that late kind night of like munchies. What we did after yeah. the 80s party on Navigator. Oh yeah. It's, so it's like this. Okay. We got this right here. We got some quick bites. They got some food in there. You get, you know, if you need coffee, if you want ice cream, they got Ben and Jerry's here. Voyager class ships are interesting because they do have these, um, they're not balcony rooms, but they have inside balconies. So they're inside state rooms, but with a little bit more like pizzazz. But you get a window to like see the problem. Which like, it's cool, but I also feel I like. Feel, would it be noisy? It would be a little noise, not terrible. They, they do a good job, but like, it's got thick glass, so. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Promenade. This is where everything goes down. You know, I, I this is a, this the is the fun, most fun part of the ship. Our room is on deck six. It's just around the corner. So you get the elevators here. The stairs are just on the other side, and just a little past that is where our room is. So we're like centrally located right here next to the promenade. We've got the promenade cafe. We've got two bars down that way that we have easy access to. Yeah. Elevators all the way up. So it's a pretty convenient. Exactly. Room. That's why I'm excited. And then there's um one of the lounges there and then down here is the royal theater and then the other side of the promenade is where the main dining room is and we're on um, the third floor the Dang, third so deck. everything's like around us if you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff like the royal yeah. theater the more specific stuff the entertainment kind of stuff you can do at sea yeah. be sure to stay tuned for that subscribe and whatnot that'll be coming up so in the meantime let's keep walking around yeah. this is the the star lounge and this is where they're gonna have some more like you know i think like the trivia and stuff like that it's a good oh, place to hang out they've got some drinks in there conveniently is also where our muster is the, the captain's gonna make it sound just so you get to know gotcha. you know how it sounds oh okay but you cool. don't have to come here and well, take everything as well. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Thank Appreciate you. it. Take care. We are all checked in. Must yeah. go. We are good to set sail and enjoy Just the rest enjoy of our the vacation. vacation. So we'll show this a little later on. Yeah. That's deck four. And then we're going to make our way back that way and then up because the next three, four decks are pretty much just staterooms. And we're going to make our way over to the Windjammer and go yeah, grab some food. Lunch. Let's do it. We gotta get going I here know. pretty soon, so we gotta kind of stuff all over. The buffets, you know, the wind jammer is not always the best, but you know, it's good quick food. Some bread, some mashed potatoes and gravy over here. Oh, yeah. With some potato wedges, barbecue chicken. Yeah. Desserts over here. I don't know if you, you're not, we're not dessert people really. No. Some more like fresh stuff, garden salad, yeah. all that. Vegetarian options, of course like a hot dog or a hamburger or anything. It's been getting pretty busy. This is a, this is a full ship. It's a 4th of July oh, yeah. cruise, so yeah, it's gonna true. be pretty cool. Some more international stuff, yeah. good stuff there. Yeah, you know, typical stuff you find at the Windjammer. You've been to one, you've been to all. I mean, the barbecue chicken looks somewhat decent. Potatoes on potatoes there. Roasted potatoes and mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, I didn't even yeah. realize that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then I got some, uh, you know, salad, fish, green beans, chicken, and pasta, so. What's that? A ah, very good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Rob your cruise director here and welcome on board the Voyager of the Seas. Time to send Veronica off for her spa day, so you're going to go ahead and do your 50 minute couture massage and facial and whatnot. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and head down to our room to show you guys our room, because our room is ready. Have I'm fun. excited to see our room. Yeah, alright, in the meantime. I need to relax. Time for some R&R. &R. Yeah. Alright, have fun. Thank you. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. 6238. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the room. We booked it as a guaranteed room through Costco. We ended up actually getting the spacious balcony, so we lucked out. And what that gets you is basically an extended room by like, you know, a couple feet or something. Allows for you to get the full-size sofa instead of just a love seat. You got the king-size bed there, plenty of lights, you got plenty of storage in here. There's your safe, some cabinets to put all of our stuff in. It does have, uh, I believe, a fridge down here. Plenty of drawers to put all your stuff in. You have two outlets. Have the European outlet, which we have an adapter for, so you can use that as well. Use your thermostat there. Our bags have not arrived yet, but you know, once those come, we got some plenty of storage in here. Some shelves. You got your life vest down there. Another life vest up there. And then 
bathroom here, a shower here, and I think they've got the uh, yeah, all-in-one stuff. Toilet, trash can, more towels, a couple of cups, here's your vanity. Yeah, Veronica loves waking up in the morning and have her coffee out on the balcony, so let's go check that out. Normally this would be like a frosted glass panel. Kind of similar to that one there. A little bit more privacy, a little bit more space on the balcony too. Not bad, huh? We ended up getting a pretty good room, pretty happy with it all in all. Now I was just waiting the game until Veronica's done with her, her spa day. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Like I was on a bed of roses, yeah. just like. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that. <laughs> so, we're about 40 minutes now away from uh, Sail Away. I think we're gonna go, we got a couple more spots up here. Yeah. Um, we got dinner reservations at 5.30, so we'll show you the main dining room then. And then there's the uh, deck four below the promenade that we have to show you as well. There's that where the casino is, the schooner bar. Up on the top here, I think there's a couple more spots. So let's go check those okay. out. The deck 14 here, so Izumi, if you like uh, sushi and whatnot, that's one of the paid is options. Is that like a specialty? It's a specialty dining, pay? yeah. Okay. Right next to here is the Viking Crown Lounge. Good spot to have a drink. Yeah. So this is like where they have like the silent disco. Oh. They have it up here. High notes is what they call it. So some of the entertainment happens here. So. What do you think, you wanna grab another drink? Yeah. So we're on the way, this is gonna be the basketball court here and then they're gonna have the perfect storm and, and the, you know, the slides and the flow rider, rider, all that stuff back here. Yeah. Now if you wanna play some basketball, I think they got some basketball tournaments out here. That'd be kind of fun to do. They also have a rock wall there, so if you wanna get your climbing on. What do you think, you gonna go on the, the perfect storm on this, this cruise? Is that what this slide is? Yeah. Is it two slides? Yeah. Kinda of intertwined with yeah. each other. I think this was a recent addition to the ship, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Play some ring toss or some cornhole, too. There you go. Yeah, they got it turned off right now, but this is good entertainment. Lots of people wipe out yeah. left and right. We'll definitely be back here, though, so stay tuned for that in another video yeah. coming up. Yeah, so this is the uh, the mini golf course here, and I think the, I like the one on the Navigator a little bit more. You know, if you want to play some uh, mini golf, it's, it's there. So at least they have There's it. There's nothing like fun to like obstruct. Like, yeah, uh, there's no like real like elements to it. Just, yeah. just green just and brown. Like, go around the rock. Yeah. Let's make our way to the party. Sailway party. It's about that time. We've got a nice viewpoint here. This one's already uh, kicked off here. Do you want to get in on the dance party down there? <laughs> You can kind of see we're starting to push away from the, the port there. Oh yeah. We are on the way. Look at that. We got the conga. <laughs> there we go. to see what's on the menu. I know. I'm ready for food. Me too. <laughs> Cheers. You got yourself the spinach arch up there, yeah. right? And we're going to show that escargot. Yeah. Had to get the escargot. Right That's a must on these cruises, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. I keep looking at it. Like, mm. <laughs> I've got some shrimp cocktail on the way as well. Right on cue. Mmm. Escargot. 
All right, the entrees have arrived. You got what, the uh, chicken stock? I don't even know, I was rushed. Yeah, <laughs> well it sounded good. It's, um, it's an Indian dish. It's I a know, chicken, like aromatic it's chicken stock. Yeah, it smells good. It smells good. good. And I got the pan fried fish. Looks like some rice and corn and the sauce there. I actually didn't catch what the sauce was, but it's dig in. What did you think? It's okay. Yeah, about the same as last time. <laughs> the staff was really friendly. Yeah, the staff that's was great. That's what I like. Food, like, it wasn't any worse than last time, yeah. so that's good. It's still not the greatest, but it, they're cooking for a crowd, so yeah. you got to understand that. I mean, yeah, there's a lot to eat, yeah. so everything's just going to be sitting, like, in a warmer, probably, or yeah. something like that. Oh no, good. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be back tomorrow night when I got a formal night and whatnot, but uh, that'll be in another video, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. In the meantime, I think we're going to go finish up, walk around, see a couple other things we haven't seen yet, like yeah. Studio B yeah. and the Royal Theater, stuff like that. I know, I'm so. like tempted to go ice skating. <laughs> yeah, it is tempting, huh? It is. Go check out, Studio B is right here. Okay. They do have all their photo stuff down here. So if you want to get some pictures taken, you all dressed up and whatnot, like we're going to be tomorrow night, yeah. then they do have like the photo booth set up. You can order pictures here. This is crazy. Yeah, this is our first time back in Studio B. Navigator, we didn't get in there no, at all. Not at all, yeah. When's the last time you skate? Probably like middle school. Oh. Well. <laughs> Which is like many, many years ago. But at least it'll make for entertaining content, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But we definitely have to check out the show here too. Yeah, so. I do want to see the show here. Right, let's go to deck four. Okay. We're on three now, so let's go to deck four. Okay, so just up. I'm always curious about the people that come onto a cruise ship and buy art. At least you can look at it. That's here. The main dining room is there to the left. Here's the stairwell up to the promenade there. There's the R bar up that way. That's the tavern over there. Maybe we'll grab a drink there shortly. Okay. So there's the casino here. We'll, uh, we'll probably be spending some time in there later. Don't want to record too much in there. We got yelled at on the navigator in the seas. Yeah. This is the schooner bar over here. They'll do like music over here. The, they have a pianist that plays right there. It's the nice thing about these longer cruises, five days, we have plenty of time to just yeah. kind of chill and like check out all the different spots around the ship and all that and enjoy, enjoy ourselves as much as possible. If you got some specialty dining, we, uh, we touched on Izumi earlier. That's the other one. Oh, that Japanese yeah. one. What kind of food did they have? That's Giovanni's table. That's uh, more Italian. Like, okay. like It's like a pasta house, you know. That's there next to the schooner there. Just beyond that's a casino. And then behind you here, in this beautiful tower area that just goes all the way up. And then Royal Theater's right here. He's just not that into you. And I don't remember saying it, but I said it. But there was a girl there, Liz, the so that was just a bit of a teaser there at the Royal Theater. I think we're gonna go ahead and put the camera up and then call it a night Enjoy for the this. Night. Yeah, today was just more embarkation, embarkation day. Embarkation day. Yeah, get a lay of the, the ship and then Now we're actually just gonna enjoy our time. See where the night takes yeah. us. <laughs> so, there's a few videos coming in this series. We got some. Uh, we got a stop in Costa Maya and Cozumel the next day. So we're gonna be. Yeah, Fourth of July. We'll be in Cozumel. Little teaser. We're gonna be doing some snuba, some tankless diving. So super excited for yeah. that. Veronica's first time diving in the open ocean. I know. So wish me luck. <laughs> looking forward to that. Be sure to stay tuned if you guys are interested for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the ship tour, Voyager of the Seas. It's a beautiful ship. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll, we'll see you in the see next, the next one. one.